The mythical story of how Zhuge Liang acquired his famous feather fan is an inspiring one. There are several variations of this legend. The legend goes that when Kong Ming was young, he was intelligent but mute. When he was nine years old, he was still unable to speak. One day he met an old white-haired Taoist master who cured him of this condition. The old master saw greatness in the young Kong Ming and he became the Taoist's apprentice, learning astronomy, geography, the philosophy of yin and yang, the eight triagrams and the art of war. Kong Ming was a naturally gifted student. He had a photographic memory and was adored by his master. When Kong Ming turned 17, his whole life was about to change. One day, as he was walking by an abandoned nunnery, a strong wind began to blow and heavy rain started to fall. Kong Ming took shelter from the elements within the nunnery and waited out the storm. Whilst he was there taking shelter, a young woman aged 16 approached Kong Ming and invited him for tea at her house. She told him that both of her parents had died and she lived a lonely life at the old nunnery. Her appearance was striking. According to the legend, she was said to have looked like a fairy. 17-year-old Kong Ming could not help but fall under her spell. After the storm had passed, Kong Ming got up to leave when the young woman told him, please come back and take a tea break with me. On his way back home, Kong Ming thought it was very strange and wondered why he had never noticed anyone living in the nunnery before. Indeed, he knew something was off, but he went back to the woman to chat and play chess. His master noted that Kong Ming began to neglect his studies. He became distracted and forgetful. His focus and attention was now elsewhere. The Taoist master pointed towards a tree which was entwined by vines and asked his student, Do you know why that tree is on the verge of dying and unable to grow well? It is being strangled by the vines, Zhuge Liang replied. Kong Ming's infatuation with this mysterious woman was destroying his ability to study. The master said, yes, for the tree growing on a mountain, where it is full of stones and there is little soil, it is indeed hard. But if it pushes its roots downward, it can grow its branches upward, becoming bigger and stronger. However, when the tree is strangled by the vines, it cannot grow up any longer. That's when we say, trees fear being entangled by soft vines. Sugar Leong asked his master if he knew what was happening. The master replied, He who lives near the water knows the disposition of fish, and he who lives near the hill knows the sounds of birds. Watching you closely, and observing your actions, how could I not know your mind? The master began to explain the truth behind the mysterious woman. That young woman you adore is not a human being. Originally, she was a crane in the heavenly palace, but she stole the heavenly queen mother's peach and ate it. She was expelled to earth as a punishment, and she transformed herself into a beautiful woman but she carries with her an ignorant, lazy and lustful nature. You just pay attention to her beautiful face, but you don't know she's nothing but a fowl. If you keep being so muddle-headed, you will be nothing in your life. Someday, if you don't listen to her, she will punish you. Kong Ming, filled with anxiety, asked his master what he should do. The Taoist told him, the crane often flies up to the Milky Way at midnight for bathing in its true form. During this time, go into her room and burn her clothes. Those clothes are what she stole from the heavenly palace. If the clothes are incinerated, the crane won't be able to transform into a human being again. The master proceeded to hand Kong Ming a dragon-headed cane and said, when the crane sees the nunnery on fire, it will definitely fly back from the Milky Way immediately. When she sees you burning her clothes, she definitely won't let you go. If that crane tries to hurt you, you can hit it with this cane. 
You must remember this. Kong Ming obeyed the master's instructions. He quietly lit the clothes on fire, and just as the Taoist predicted, the crane flew back to earth. She saw Kong Ming burning the clothes and attempted to attack him by pecking out his eyes. Kong Ming struck the bird with the cane, knocking it to the ground. He quickly grabbed its tail, but the crane managed to fly away, leaving a handful of feathers in Kong Ming's hand. In order to remember the whole situation, he decided to create a fan which he would carry for the rest of his life. Every time he looked at the fan, he would be reminded to never succumb to earthly desires. He had learnt his lesson.